We live? Yes, we are. Yes, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, and welcome back to the uh, channel. It's Football Fan 148 here, and today we are live for the uh, European Championships uh, qualifying uh, draw. Yes, officially, I only found this out last night that the qualifying draw was taking place uh, first thing this morning. So, yeah, I know, I know that. It's just because I'm, like, really late. So, I thought I'd do my own version of the draw. Um, tossy, mate. So, yeah. But anyway, but anyway, I might as well do it anyway. Because I don't know about the draw anyhow. So, I thought I'd do my live stream anyhow. And also, and of course, I thought I'd do a live stream, of course, for people who, um, of course, haven't watched the uh, Euro 2024 uh, qualifying draw, uh, which took place this morning. So let me just remind you, let me just remind you of the pots, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just remind you of the teams uh, who are going to be um, in each pot. Yeah, I'll remind you of that just briefly. Briefly. Yes, yeah, so the qual so yeah, the pots seeded pots are like so. Ladies and gentlemen, so we've got so of course we've got of course, the uh, of course the uh, of course the UEFA Nations League part. Of course, the four teams that have of course uh, qualified for the uh, Nations League uh, finals, which of course will take place, uh, of course in twenty twenty four. I'm guessing, or it might be no, it's twenty twenty three. I'm thinking, is it twenty twenty three or is it twenty twenty four? I have no idea with the Nations League guys. But anyway, the Nations League part, of course. Four teams in there are the Netherlands, Croatia, Spain, and Italy. So, in, yeah, in part one, and, of course, the pots, as so, we've got, uh, in part one, we've got Denmark, Portugal, Belgium, Hungary, Switzerland, and Poland. In part two, we have France, Austria, the Czech Republic, uh, England, Wales, Israel, uh, uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Herzegovina. Yeah, I was trying to get was trying to get it out, guys. It is a bit of a handful that one. Uh, Serbia, Scotland, and Finland. In part three, we've got Ukraine, Isra uh, Israel, uh, Norway. Sl uh, Slovakia, or it might be Slovenia, I'm not exactly sure, but, yeah, it's Slovenia, yes, yeah, Slovenia, Ireland, Albania, North Macedonia, or that might be Montenegro, no, it's North Macedonia, uh, Romania, uh, Sweden and Armenia. In part four, we've got Georgia, Greece, Turkey, Kazakhstan, Luxembourg. Oh, God. Uh, Azerbaijan, Kosovo, uh, Bulgaria. Uh, Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that um, FRO team is. Might be. I'm thinking it's. Uh, no, it can't be Finland, can it? Um, hang on a minute. Let me have a look here. Yeah, just to. Oh, the Faroe Islands! Right, yeah, Faroe Islands, 
and North Macedonia. So I'm guessing that team in pot three must be Montenegro then. In pot five, we got we got Slovakia. Uh, of course, the Northern Ireland. We got Northern Ireland, Cyprus, Cyprus, uh, BLR. Which team are BLR? Hang on a minute. BLR. Oh. Yeah. No, that's um, BLR. I have no idea which country is BLR, guys. So it's a bit confusing with some of the countries that are also there. I'm guessing that might be... I'm thinking it probably might be Bulgaria. No, not Bulgaria. Um... Oh, I can. Oh, I'll probably never get my art and mind around it. No, Bulgaria is there. Uh, BLR. Oh, I can't even remember that. BLR. Something like here. Ah, Belarus. Ah, so it's B. So that's Belarus in there. We got to got. LTU LTU and what was that LTU or was it LTR? Uh yeah, LTU. Right, so how the hell do you know where do you find that? LTU Oh Lithuania, yes. So Lithuania, uh, GIB, what on earth? Uh, uh, Gibraltar, Gibraltar, Estonia, Latvia, Moldova, and MLT, MLT, you on earth, MLT. Right, MLT, Art Malta, and and in pot six we've got Andorra, uh, San Marino, and and a country called L I I, or Lichtenstein, and Lichtenstein. So that is all the teams um, that are in the pot there. The teams that are in the pot. So, yeah. Sorry about the wait there, guys. I was just trying to really pronounce some of these teams and try and find some of them because some of the, those teams I really don't know much about. So, yeah. But anyway, let's get into this uh, draw. But before anything, also... The way, uh, now, how the draw will work, of course, we've got 53 national associated, uh, national associations parting in this year's qualifying draw. Of course, Germany are the organisers of this uh, tournament, so they automatically qualify and therefore do not take part in this draw. Now, of course, now, of course, following the decision of the UEFA Executive Committee on the 28th of February 2022, which is further uh, being confirmed by the Court of Arbitration for Sports. Russia will therefore not will not be included in the away first European Football Championship 2022-24 qualifying draw after what's been uh, happening, of course, in Ukraine. Now the fifth now the 53 teams that participated in the that participate in the qualifying draw draw are seeded based on the overall rankings of the UEFA Nations League 
uh, 2022 slash 23 and will be allocated to 10 qualification groups, seven groups of five teams and three groups of six teams. Now, the draw principles are unchanged compared to the previous edition with the specific adaptions highlighted below. Uh, hi highlighted guys. So the four finalists on the UEFA Nations League, they'll be drawn into groups of five teams to allow them to participate in the finals uh, in June 2023, which will actually be interesting to watch. Uh, can't wait for that. Uh, five country pairs, of course, are declared as prohibited. Those pairings must not be drawn into the same group. Of course, Armenia, Azerbaijan, and of course, those two got a bit of a history. Uh, Belarus and uh, Ukraine, because they're literally right do next door to each other. Uh, Gibraltar, Spain, because Gibraltar is pretty much right on, is pretty much nine and really close. And uh, Kosovo and Bosnia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. and her goes via the Vienna. Yeah, because those two, again, right next door. And the same for Kosovo and Serbia. Now, the maximum of two winter venues may be drawn into the same group, which, of course, is Belarus, Estonia, Faroe Islands, Finland, Iceland, Latvia, Lithuania and Norway. Now, sev and several country pairings have been declared to represent an excessive travel distance. A maximum of one... Of one, should pa such pair may be drawn into the same group. So, yeah, It'll be interesting to do. But anyway, let's actually get on with the uh, draw itself here. Yeah, sorry guys, I've also got a bit of a really bad uh ah, really nails here. Or Zambroria or Zambrutia. Or Dimitrio Albertino. So we got Albertini and Dimitrio. Bringing in, of course, the UEFA, uh, UEFA Championship trophy, which England came so close to winning last year. Oh, we also got Klinsman and Riedler. How about the draw? Yeah, I look at yeah, just have a look at some of those countries just across the world. 
for some of those big cities. Of course, we'll have the likes of Munich, Berlin, Hamburg, Cologne, or that's Cologne, really. Of course, as I said, Munich. So we got Stuttgart as well. I think uh, Dortmund. Yeah, of course we got the uh, so yeah, got some really big stadiums. Which will, of course, be played in some of the great stadiums. Mm. Street will also be played in Leipzig. Uh, Dusseldorf. Mm. Of course, as I said, Frankfurt. And I guess they'll kink or uh, kink. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, as I did say, the capital Berlin. Yeah, just look at those images, guys. Just really gives you the excitement of the what's to come at these uh, European Championships World Cup happening in two years' time. But of course, there's also one other tournament we've got to uh, get done, and that is, of course, the World Cup, which will be coming up in like a month and oh, in one month and. 11 days time so. yeah Yeah. Right, you know, we got that. Just that's right over here. So let me get this uh, straight here. Like literally, if it's like, guys, you also pretty much with this. I mean, you got to consider like the really bad like restrictions on the travel, on the travel. So a maximum, guys. So with this, like you've got, they're going to take into account the excessive travel restrictions. So pretty much, you're going to only have like one pairing in such groups. So it's pretty much like 
if you're going from the likes of thinking like either England, France, Portugal or Scotland, like to like to Kazakhstan, to Kazakhstan um, or Azerbaijan, of course that that would actually be quite a long uh, trip, so pretty much only be like the one uh so it'd be like the only one there. And also if you look at it also look at it from the likes of Gibraltar, Iceland, Portugal to Azerbaijan, that would be quite uh a long trip and the same for Cyprus, Georgia and Israel if you're travelling um to um Iceland of course it's also going to be a really long trip as well. Alphabetical order, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, so, of course, we've got the uh, UEFA Nations League part and, of course, part one there as well, which, of course, is the total of 10 teams. Let me just remind you of the uh, UNL part. We've got the Netherlands, Croatia, Spain and Italy. Whilst in part one, we've got Denmark, Portugal, Belgium, Hungary, Switzerland and Poland. Mm. So who we got? And the first team out will be Spain going into Group A. Yeah, winning them both then. Of course. Oh, we got Holland going into Group B. Holland is going to be very tough opponents. Forever will be in the same uh, group as them. So who's in next? Oh, Italy. That will be going into Group C. It's Group C, the, of course, the uh, 2020 European uh, Champions beating England on penalties, which is still painful for me to say, really, guys, especially considering where we, uh, how well we did in that tournament. And finally, for the UEFA Nations League part, we got Croatia going into Group D. So that will be the UEFA Nations League part. Oh, Poland, okay, of course, uh, had to um, pretty much make a last ditch escape to avoid relegation from the Nations League, actually. They're in the same group as Wales. And also Belgium, they came so, so close to actually um, going into uh, the uh, finals there. So uh, Belgium into group uh into yeah so belgium oh, so belgium in group f poland in group e and hungary in group g yeah hungary in the same group necessarily group as england and denmark of course they were so so close to actually going through who unfortunately losing to um to uh Croatia at the time and then Switzerland going into group I of course they did actually really really well in the 
28 in the uh, Euros. And then we got Portugal in Group J. So, um, Portugal in Group J. Okay, let me remind you. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I thought, would England and Wales and Scotland, if they were the same group, would that be a bit difficult considering those three teams are actually like rivals, really? Considering the rivalry between England and Scotland. Oh, that would be difficult for Scotland. Scotland going into Group A with Spain. That would be a very interesting match for Scotland against uh, against Spain. Oh, France will be going into Group B with the Netherlands. Oh. Very, very interesting there, France and the Netherlands. Of course, those two, those two, of course, don't, those two, both two very, uh, very interesting teams. Definitely make it very challenging. Oh, boy. Oh, good grief. We're, we're in it again. Pretty much the foot. Pretty much losing to Italy in the 2020 final. Uh, losing to Italy 1-0 in the Nations League. And now we've got them in the flip it. And now we've got them in, uh, in the European Championships qualifying group. Qualifying group. Yeah, England in Group C with Italy. And Wales, of course, going into Group D with... Uh, not exactly sure who Wales went in with. Uh, the Czech Republic uh, going into Group E. Uh, yeah, Wales went into Group D with uh, Croatia and Croat and the Czech Republic going to Group E with uh, Poland. Yeah, Austria they came very, very close to that. Uh, yeah, of course, Austria unfortunately got relegated to um, uh, to uh, League Two B in the Nations League. Unfortunately, yes, yeah, Serbia in Group G with Hungary. Oh, Finland will be going into Group H with Denmark. Now, of course, those two did actually clash at uh, Euro uh, 2020, where unfortunately we had that. <laughs> we unfortunately, the match between uh, Israel, between Finland and Denmark, was actually postponed. Because of what happened to Ericsson. So, yeah, definitely. So, I remember, but the game got yeah, went ahead again. So, uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. I can never say the name right going into Group J. Oh, 
Blimey. Oh, blimey. Scotland and Spain will have very, a very tricky task in trying to stop Norway's um, international superstar Erling Haaland. Oh, so Ireland going into Group B with the Netherlands, France. Netherlands and France, not an easy group for uh, Ireland. Yeah. Well, oh, Ukraine going into Group C with us and uh, Italy. I mean, is it me or is it pretty much turning into the Euro 2020? Is it turning into that Euro 2012 group all over again for England? <laughs> yeah. Armenia going into group D with Croatia and Wales. And the way, and I'll explain what I meant by uh, that Euro 2012 group after this... Uh, draw really guys so Albania will go into group E with Poland and the Czech Republic hmm. uh, Sweden will go into group F with the Belgium and Austria. Some of these groups are looking absolutely, absolutely interesting. Oh, Montenegro! Of course, we had some had some run-ins with Montenegro in the past. Of course, the last time we played them it was the awful uh, racist incidents uh, in the country. So yeah, I'm just hoping no one gets that. Sort of thing over there. Oh, Slovenia will go into Group H uh, with Denmark and Finland. Oh, Romania will go into Group I with Switzerland and Israel. And the final team, Iceland will go into Group J with Portugal and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Port number four getting underway. It's actually turning into a very interesting draw, I have to say, guys. Uh, Georgia in Group A, along with Spain, Scotland and Norway. Yeah, they were so, so close. Now, uh, Greece will head into Group B with the Netherlands, France, and the and Ireland. Yeah, Greece, of course, former Euro Euro European Championship winners. Oh, North Macedonia heading into this, heading into Group C with Italy, England, and Ukraine. Italy, 
a little bit of history with North Macedonia after Italy, after North Macedonia actually denied Italy a chance to be in the 2020 2 World Cup. So Turkey going into Group D with Croatia, Wales and Armenia. Hmm. Uh, the Federal Islands will go into Group E with Poland, the Czech Republic and Albania. Yep. Uh, Azerbaijan, of course, the country. Well, it's caused a very long trip for a lot of teams. But Azerbaijan going in the same group as Belgium, Austria and Sweden. <laughs> Oh, Bulgaria. I just hope that any of the teams that go there will not have the same sort of thing that England had. I mean, the racist incidents, the logos and everything, and fans actually getting chased through the forest by Bulgaria. Um, uh, of course ultras i just really hope that no other team gets to gets to uh take that and gets to um have that experience i really hope not uh, kazakhstan will head into group head into group h with denmark finland and slovenia and and, and and Kosovo will head into Group J. <laughs> head into Group I for Switzerland, Israel, and Romania. Yeah. And you really do not need to... Um, <laughs> please do not underestimate uh, Kosovo. I've actually seen them when they've played England in former... Um, European Championship uh, match, uh, former European Championship qualifying matches in the past. They are very, very uh, interesting uh, side. <laughs> interesting uh, side indeed. <coughs> uh, Gibraltar will go into this into Group B because. Uh, we join Group B along the Netherlands, France, Ireland, and Greece. So that is Group B uh, done. So Cyprus will go into Group A along with Spain, Scotland, Norway, and Georgia. So that's Group A and B done. Oh, Malta. We'll head into Group C along with Italy, England, Ukraine and North Macedonia. So that's Group C complete. Uh, Latvia, we've played them a few times in the past, Latvia. But they'll go into Group D alongside Croatia, Wales, Armenia and Turkey. Another team we've played in the past, Moldova. Moldova going to Group E with Poland, Czech Republic, Albania and the Faroe Islands. Another team we've played in the, in the past, uh, Estonia will go into the same group as Belgium, Austria, um, Sweden and I'm not exactly sure what that final one was. I think it might have been Azerbaijan. So Lithuania will go into Group G along with Hungary, Serbia, Montenegro and Bulgaria. And 
Northern Ireland will go into Group H along with Denmark, Finland, Slovenia, Kazakhstan, and Kazakhstan. Uh, uh, Belarus. I don't think we've ever played them before. I think we might have done both years ago, but they'll go into Group I with Switzerland, Israel, Romania, and Kosovo. And Slovakia will go into Group J with Portugal, Bosnia and Kvartsia, Iceland, Iceland, and I'm not really sure who on earth that final team was from from J, but. For the final time, here we go. Uh, and Dora will go into group group A along with Switzerland, Israel, Romania, Kosovo, and Andorra. So that's group I done. So, of course, Andorra can go in the same group as Belarus. Uh, San Marino, pretty much one of the easiest sides you will ever beat in a football match. So, in Group H, which they'll face the likes of Denmark. Actually, Denmark, I can't exactly see the others there. Went a bit quick. And then they have Liechtenstein, which we've never actually played them. So, they're going to Group J, along with Portugal, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Iceland, Luxembourg and Slovakia. So there we go, guys. So that is the draw done. But these are the draws for the uh UA for the UEFA Euro 2024 uh qualif uh qualifying uh groups. So let me just so let me just go through them one by one. So in group A, we in group now let me just remind you guys that from groups A to G, you only got five teams in there. So, so here we go. Here we go. In group A, we got Spain, Scotland, Norway, Georgia, and Cyprus. I really wouldn't like to be any of those teams who's got to face um, Erling Haaland. I mean, the way he's been right now, he's absolutely monster of a goal scorer there. <coughs> In Group B, we got the Netherlands, France, Ireland, Greece, and Gibraltar. Again, I mean, Netherlands versus France. I think that might actually be a really interesting match. But I think for the other sides that have got to face, like uh, France and the Netherlands, it's definitely going to be very, very challenging. Uh, in Group C, we've got Italy, England, Ukraine, North Macedonia... And Malta. Now, what I meant, guys, what I meant by the comment I made about it, about England's group pretty much being made into the Euro 2012 group, was the fact that both Italy and Ukraine were both in the same group as England back then. So that's what I meant by that comment, really. <coughs> Yeah, and also Italy, I reckon when they face North Macedonia, I reckon they'll be looking for a little bit of revenge considering North Macedonia were the side who actually beat Italy and stopped them from qualifying for the um, for the World Cup. Yeah, so in Group D, we've got Croatia, Wales, Armenia, Turkey and Latvia. Yeah, in Group E, we got Poland, the Czech Republic, Albania, the Faroe Islands, and Moldova. Yeah, uh, in Group F, we got Belgium, Austria, Sweden, Azerbaijan, and Estonia. I reckon Belgium, Austria, I reckon when uh, Belgium take on the likes of Austria and Sweden, I reckon those two could really be quite interesting matches there uh in group j 
In Group J, uh, no, in Group G, sorry, uh, we got Hungary, Serbia, Montenegro, Bulgaria, and Lithuania. Now, <laughs> now, what I meant by the comment about Bulgaria and Montenegro and Hungary, pretty much, guys, is that in the past, when we had um, <coughs> when we had a match against Hungary. <coughs> when we were trying to qualify for the uh, World Cup, uh, for the World Cup um, at the time, pretty much Hungary, they were like, like shouting out racist and, and pretty much uh, racist. And I can't remember what the other one was. Uh, yeah, they're pretty much uh, shouting out that. Like racist stuff. Uh, racist stuff. I mean, it was just absolutely disgusting there. The atmosphere. I just hope that Hungary supporters have learned their lessons from that. And that does not happen. And the same for, goes for Montenegro and Bulgaria. But the one thing now I, now I hope does not happen for teams in Bulgaria is that they have to go through uh, what England had to go through years ago. I think this was like, I think this was also when we were trying to qualify for the, I think this was either trying, I think this was either a European uh Championship 2020 uh, qualifying campaign at the time, but Bulgaria they were absolute. It was absolutely disgusting to watch. I mean, there was constant, constant racism going on there. There was pretty much like loads of logos put up around, like around the stack around the stadiums. And stadium saying thank, uh, saying thank you for not mixing or something like that. That, that, yeah, and something about the Nazis as well. It's just absolutely disgusting at the time, um, and also, and also after the game, they pretty much had to like hold the England fans in whilst they whilst um they sorted out the ultras who were pretty much kicked out the 40th minute but by the end of, by the time the end of the game had arrived they were pretty much around that bit where the england fans were waiting for them to come out so they pretty much the uh, security and the police had to try and disperse them but that still did not stop them from uh, from like chasing the uh, England fans like through the forest. You know, it was just absolutely a horrible experience, and I really hope that does not happen ever. Yeah. 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 In group now, in group H, we've got Denmark, Finland, Slovenia, Kazakhstan, Northern Ireland, and San Marino. Pretty much, I can see any side who has to play San Marino. There will pretty much be getting an easy win and thrashing San Marino in the process. Because pretty much San Marino are the worst team that you will ever want and ever want to face. Seriously. They're just like so easy to beat. They really are. One of the easiest sides to beat in the world. Yeah, in Group I, we've got Switzerland, Israel, Romania, Kosovo, Belarus, and Andorra. Now, 
Now, with Kosovo, I really think that you really shouldn't underestimate them. I mean, they gave England some really tricky matches. And they also surprised me in actually reaching the uh, Euro uh, 2020 um, uh, playoffs at the time. They really did surprise me that so yeah i really do wish kosovo the best of luck and i'll be keeping an eye on some of their matches in group i and finally we've got group j where we've got portugal bosnia uh, bosnia and her and herzegovia finally i actually get it right <laughs> you also got iceland luxembourg slovakia and Liechtenstein, pretty much an easy group for Portugal, Bosnia, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yeah, really easy group there. But also, I know Slovakia, they'll provide a bit of a challenge as well. So, definitely be interesting to see how things go in Group J. There we go, guys. That is pretty much the draw uh, all been done, really. I thought that was an interesting uh, draw. I really do. Really thought that was really, really interesting. And some of the games we've actually got, I think, definitely, definitely uh, been um, be, uh, really, really interesting to watch. I mean, yeah, but I just hope that... Some of those sides who have who have had those um, racism and um, I can't remember what the other one is. Yeah, pretty much those um, issues where, of course, they had um, everything to do with the. With the. Um, of course, the uh, home, of course, with the homophobia and racist stuff. I just hope that that those sides have, of course, learnt their lessons from uh, those, and I just really hope that that um, just really hope that um, that those sides have learnt their lessons in this. I really do. And, yeah, I just really hope that doesn't happen again. Because if it does, be absolutely disgusting for any um, any uh, team to have to, any team or any supporter to have to experience that, really. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Thank you all very much for watching. Of course, I'll be back with another stream, uh, possibly um, uh, possibly on Tuesday night when uh, Chelsea uh, play Inter Milan. No, not Inter Milan, AC Milan, I meant to say. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be back. I'll be back on uh, Tuesday for that um, game. But for the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys on Tuesday for Inter Milan. For AC Milan versus Chelsea. In the meantime, I've been your boy, Football Fan 138, and I'll see you guys in the next stream. Bye, guys.